Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Lion Lost, Jerry, and Wolves of Daisy for making this video possible. By the end of this video, you're going to be a loot master of Daisy, capable of knowing the exact location of any piece of loot in Daisy in a matter of seconds with a vast amount of knowledge I'm about to drop on you. So make some room in your backpack because here comes a loot. To train your body for the technique I'm about to show you, let's start at the base level with the lowly loot spawn point, of which most buildings and structures have many. Now if you're an incredibly intelligent person, you must have guessed by now that loot spawns at these loot spawn points. Well done if you got that correct. But what you might not know is that these spawn points don't spawn loot based on the building or structure they are attached to. They spawn loot dependent on three different restrictions mapped to them because without these map restrictions, M4s would spawn on the beach. So when learning what these free map restrictions are and where they're positioned, we in turn become masters of knowing exactly what will spawn and where it will spawn. The first and easiest restriction to understand are loot tags, of which there are 15 painted across the map. And I mean that in a literal sense, there are 15 loot tags that are literally painted onto a map editor provided to modders. For example, inside this tool, if I select the medic loot tag, all areas that spawn medical loot will be shown on the map in yellow, regardless of the building, because if we zoom into Berezuna here, the medical loot tag was also accidentally painted over these car wrecks outside the hospital building that now spawn medical loot because they have the medical tag assigned to them, meaning that the spawn points of these car wrecks spawn medical loot too. If I wanted to, I could paint several more areas in Berezina with medical loot. I can paint a row of houses or an entire area. I can make it all spawn medical loot. The possibilities are penis endless. Zooming back out, here are all 15 loot tags painted in Daisy. The more paint that gets covered by each of the loot tags, the more dominant it is at spawning loot that's unique to that loot tag across the map. However, one piece of loot can have more than one loot tag assigned to it. For example, the binoculars in Daisy spawn at military, police, and hunting loot tags across the map shown here, so all of them get combined. These binoculars are easier to find than the PU scope that only spawns at hunting and military locations shown here, which is easier to find than the hunting optic found only at hunting loot tags painted here, demonstrating how loot tags can create restrictions in loot. The binoculars and PU scopes spawn in all areas of the map, but the hunting optic doesn't spawn on the coast here, which is considered and painted as a tier 1 area, which means that the hunting optic spawns in the remaining three tiers, tier 2, 3 and 4. These tiers are used to stop items like the Time 6 ACOG optic spawning on the coast, although the regular optic, the 4 times version, can spawn in every single military location found across the map, the Time 6 ACOG is restricted to tier 3 and tier 4. Now while in most cases higher tier means better loot, be aware that more food will spawn at the lower tiers like cereal, chips and the larger variety of the foods in the game only spawn in tier 1 areas, making it easier to find food on the coast and making it more unlikely to find it at tier 3 or tier 4 areas. This is also the case with clothing. Green and camo clothing spawns a lot more frequently in tier 3 and tier 4 areas where the same clothing in brighter, less useful colours will spawn in tier 2 and tier 1 areas, which ties into the third and final restriction for loot in DayZ, which is rarity. With more food and clothing spawning more often in tier 1 and tier 2 areas, it makes it much more difficult to find guns and ammo in tier 1 and tier 2 areas because more items are competing for the same spawn points. However, the opposite can be said of tier 3 and tier 4. More guns and ammo will spawn here simply because less food and clothing do. Not to mention a lot of the better weapons and ammo in the game are restricted to tier 4 and tier 3, with some of the best weapons and items spawning under special loot tags that restrict them to unique areas, dynamic trains, and heli crash sites which you can learn about in this video here. As for this video there is one more topic that is very important to understand for rarity and that is that each lootable item in Daisy has two numbers assigned to it, a maximum number and a minimum number. For example the blaze has 20 as a maximum number and 10 as a minimum number. This means that the server will try its best to keep the amount of blazes on the server between these two numbers and it will refill them to 20 once it hits this 10 number. Now I'm not going to go through each and every item in Daisy and tell you which items have which numbers on them, that would take forever, but what I have done is created a way for you to search any item in Daisy that you're interested in finding and it will tell you how many of the items spawns on the server and show you exactly which areas it spawns to on the map with any restrictions it may have on it, heli crash sites, contaminated area, basically I've created a loot finding app for Daisy. Type the loot that you want into the box and the tool will do the magic and tell you where it spawns, which I'll keep up to date for you guys each and every patch from now on. 
A huge thank you to Help the Dead Walk for their invaluable loot knowledge, who is truly a loot master of Daisy, and Sag Panda for helping me learn how to mod Daisy with the loot spawns. Thank you very much for watching. Tool link below, and have a good day.